Markets are jittery and inflation's back in the headlines. Rate cuts keep getting pushed and global tech tensions, they're heating up fast. Yet somehow, amid all this chaos, one company just posted the most jaw-dropping quarter in tech history again, while the rest of the market is struggling to find direction. NVIDIA just printed $44.1 billion in a single quarter, smashing expectations and rewriting what's possible in the AI era. But here's the twist, their stock still dropped. Why? What happened with China? And what's next for the company building the backbone of global AI infrastructure? In this video, we're breaking down NVIDIA's record-shattering earnings, the $4.5 billion write-down that spooked investors, and the groundbreaking tech like NVLink Fusion and Dynamo that could shape the future of computing itself. So buckle up. Because this isn't just another earnings report, this is the front line of a trillion-dollar battle for AI dominance. Let's get into it. NVIDIA reported $44.1 billion in revenue for Q1 2025. That's up 12% quarter over quarter and a jaw-dropping 69% year over year. Earnings per share came in at 81 cents, up 33% from last year, but down 9% from last quarter. The main driver of this explosive growth is NVIDIA's data center division, which now makes up 89% of total revenues. In Q1 alone, data center revenues came in at $39 billion, up 10% quarter over quarter, and up 73% year over year. To put that in context, Amazon Web Services, AWS, which powers around one-third of the internet, reported $29 billion last quarter. NVIDIA just surpassed that by a full $10 billion, which shows just how massive the global AI infrastructure build-out has become. NVIDIA isn't a data center company. It's an AI infrastructure company. That shift in perspective changes how we look at its entire tech stack. Take the Stargate AI projects in the US and UAE. These aren't just server farms. They're national AI factories running models specifically trained for their own cultures, languages, and legal frameworks. NVIDIA is at the heart of these sovereign AI efforts worldwide. Just like we measure electricity in terawatt towers, we're moving into a future where we'll measure AI capacity in tokens generated per year. And NVIDIA will be the factory behind those tokens. So if NVIDIA's business is booming, why did EPS drop 9% quarter over quarter? On April 9th, the U.S. government required NVIDIA to obtain a license to export its Hopper H20 chips to China, effectively cutting off a major growth market. The result? NVIDIA had to take a $4.5 billion write-down for unsold H20 inventory, slashing gross margins to 61% and EPS to 81 cents. Without that write-down, NVIDIA's gross margins would have been 71.3% and EPS would have landed at 96 cents, massively profitable numbers. Now here's the strategic dilemma. China is already a $50 billion AI market and half of the world's AI researchers come from there. US restrictions may slow NVIDIA down in China, but they won't stop China's AI ambitions. Instead, this accelerates their shift to self-reliance, with companies like Huawei, Alibaba, and DeepSeek filling the gap. From an investment perspective, the real question becomes, should the world's largest AI market run on American chips or on hardware built by U.S. rivals? While NVIDIA faces pressure abroad, it's quietly launching a technology at home that could open entirely new markets, NVLink Fusion. Announced recently by Jensen Huang, NVLink Fusion allows NVIDIA's ultra-fast NVLink interconnects to work with non-NVIDIA processors, like Intel CPUs, AMD GPUs, and Broadcom's custom chips. In other words, it lets NVIDIA fuse third-party chips into its AI infrastructure. Data centers from Amazon, Google, and Microsoft can now combine their own chips with NVIDIA GPUs, customizing solutions instead of picking just one chipmaker. That means... NVIDIA can tap into compute clusters that were previously locked out of their ecosystem. NVLink Fusion does two critical things. It gives NVIDIA a first-mover advantage into any AI cluster, even those built on non-NVIDIA silicon. It hedges against a future where custom AI chips become more common than general-purpose GPUs. 
Meet Dynamo, the brain of the AI factory. To manage this diverse compute environment, NVIDIA also announced Dynamo, an open-source AI inference platform designed to deploy and coordinate large-scale AI models across mixed hardware environments. If NVLink is the nervous system of the AI factory, Dynamo is the brain. It intelligently routes workloads, optimizes data caching, and maximizes token throughput, translating directly into more revenue for every dollar spent on infrastructure. Dynamo works across GPUs, CPUs, custom AI chips, and NVLink fusion networks, making it one of NVIDIA's most important software releases to date. Despite the $4.5 billion write-down, NVIDIA's underlying growth remains explosive, and the company expects another $8 billion write-down in Q2 due to unsold H20 chips, further dragging down margins and EPS. Yet, NVIDIA's total revenue could still reach $200 billion by the end of 2025, more than Tesla, AMD, and Palantir combined. GTC Paris, where NVIDIA is expected to announce new advancements in Blackwell, NVLink, and optical networking. Shipments of the B300 Blackwell Ultras in H2 2025. New roadmaps beyond Blackwell. Rubin, Rubin Ultra, and Feynman architectures. And it's not just about the chips, it's about reducing cost per token, unlocking faster AI adoption, and scaling from core to edge to sovereign deployments. So, what does all this mean for NVIDIA stock? In the short term, the export restrictions are a clear headwind. But in the medium and long term, NVIDIA is doing what few companies in history have done, reshaping entire industries. With innovations like NVLink Fusion and Dynamo, NVIDIA is expanding its total addressable market to every compute cluster on Earth. Even with geopolitical challenges, we believe NVIDIA is on track to become the first $5 trillion company. Thanks to its unmatched blend of hardware, software, and system-level infrastructure.